Good evening, everybody. The Fairfield softball team will be making its first trip to state in 11 years after a thrilling victory over North Scott. The Trojans, Allie Dio was dominant on the mound. She didn't allow a run. All night, her teammates were happy. There's still no score in the seventh inning. Jolie Burkhart walks. That is big. Ashtrin Drish sends number 23 to second base with a single to left field. Then Bowman hits a shot to short. His throw's gone wild. Check out Burkhart. She says, can I make it? No. Yes, 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 she does. Fairfield wins it, and the Trojans are headed to state. I just, I was just started crying like normal people do. I was so excited, happy tears. I was in out of the dugout before she even touched home plate. They were all holding us back, let her touch home plate first, and we were all trying to push through. We knew they had a good team. They have a good pitcher. Our girls played great, great defense. Allie pitched a great game, and uh, we, you know, we came up with the the play at the right time at the end. Next up, Mount Pleasant will also be making a trip to Fort Dodge. After beating Davenport Assumption, first inning, Allison Buckert of Mount Pleasant is safe on the air. Let's give a tip of the hat to Hattie Lichty, who moves her over to second base. Perfect bunt. That set the table for Jackie Fraze, who lines a shot down the third baseline. Mount Pleasant would go on to win it tonight by the score of 3-1. to one. In high school baseball, Ottumwa closed out its regular season against Marshalltown. Brock Hopwood picked up the win tonight as he looked sharp. Let's move to the fourth inning. Chase Wood finds the gap in right field, and then he will find third base standing up. It's Austin Schatz with a shot, one nothing in favor of the Bulldogs. Hopwood hammers one to left. The air allows shots to score. Atumwa wins it 4-1. to one. What a great regular season for the Bulldogs. The playoffs start Friday in Iowa City.